So, <laughs> wow, uh, you might be able to see Nashville in the background. And here it's we are there. on the roof of the new off complex. <laughs> And or the it, old meat packing that's plant. That's what she said it was. <laughs> yeah. What a nice lady. What yeah. a nice lady. She's letting us come up here and, and, and took us through her home. And you'll see it in a minute, right after this message. And the message is? Uh, pool balls. You heard it, pool balls. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so we were actually filming something else nearby and noticed this fantastic old factory with plants and things growing up on the roof. I am a big fan of old smokestacks, so I wanted to see if I could drone the place. So we went in, the gate was open, and we were looking around for the owner when we ran into a lovely woman named Anita. She was just out in her garden. And this surprised us because we didn't know anyone actually lived there. Turns out this place is being refurbished and Anita's family are kind of the caretakers of the place. Nice doggy. Well, we got talking to her, and she offered to let us come inside and check out her home. Well, this is an offer that we just couldn't refuse. So we went in, and lucky you, you're coming with us. And y'all go first, because I, I broke my leg. Oh, sorry to make you walk down the stairs okay. like that. <laughs> Dolly Catfish. Dolly Catfish. <laughs> They're all close to school. This is amazing. How long have you lived here? 11 years. <laughs> oh, wow. And the rivers here, we normally cut those trees, but the river's right here. You yeah. can go up on the roof and see the river. Yeah. This is our back bedroom, right here. Yeah. Where all the grandkids stay and guests stay and wow. look we at have that. A little kitchen. Y'all can walk okay. in. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a absolutely kitchen and a bathroom. Beautiful. And this is the the tile that was in here. Yes. I finally got used to it. <laughs> I thought I'd never get used to all this yellow tile. I love everything about it. The the lamps. The ceiling well, these there. are all the old sure. lamps from the big curb and here. <laughs> we had them washed and re-enameled. I imagine it would probably have been pretty abandoned looking. Initially. Well, it was pretty abandoned looking. Mm -hmm. It took us a year and a half to build this out, to get it living, livable. We have six kids and 20 grandkids. We have a big family. So we lived in. Do separate. they do they like exploring the the kids? I bet. Yeah, they well, they we bit. don't let them do that too much. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be too typical. Okay. The, these walls we just scraped and sealed. None of this color we added. It was just there. It just what looks you like a lot of work. Patina. I mean, it's just yeah. wonderful. This is. We'll go in the den. This is just our home. We appreciate you letting us in here. Well. Oh, this is magnificent. Oh, what a great space. My goodness. Oh, oh my God. You are so lucky to live in a place like this. I know. It, it took a lot of work, actually. I bet but, it did. And this is our bedroom. And we, we chose the front of the building because at the time, we were kind of watching out for the place. And this was, there was no kitchen, there were no, there was nothing. We took out this wall. You can see the footprint of the wall. There were just shelves in here. Well, you guys did a lot of work. We did a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But it was worth it. There was a wall here. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what they use this little room for, but we put in this door. There was no door here. So this room was this room, and this right. little room was this little room. But we don't know what it was. And all these but lamps, they still work? Oh, yeah. I mean, but they're all the originals 
fixtures. We kept as much of the old stuff like this. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a new plate, obviously, but this is the old stuff. Well. We kept, and we got lucky because all of the conduits in the ceiling worked. So we didn't oh, yeah, have the to those can be big. Old sometimes. Yeah, uh, the wiring was old, but the conduits worked. And you said there's roof access? Yes, I'll show you that. I'll let you all go up there. Oh, thank you. I was planting flowers out there. Oh, you might want to go in this bathroom. My husband loves to show people me okay. in, especially. Oh, there's a urinal. <laughs> set of stairs and you'll be on the big roof. Thank you. And I'm just gonna plant my flowers. Okay, we'll be back. Thank you very much. Wow. Is it awesome? Amazing. That'll give you a little bit. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. This is absolutely wonderful. Whoa, Dana. Whoa. <laughs> Got that on camera. And you want me to climb a tree? <laughs> Are you okay, bud? Yeah. Don't do a backflip. <laughs> oh, he's good. Please do not fall. Don't fall. I can't carry you down. That's pretty cool out there. I don't care what anybody says. The Newhoff Meat Packing Plant was first built in 1906 and continued expanding until 1950. In the early 70s, the plant processed about 10,000 hogs, 2,500 calves, and 1,500 lamb per week. By the time it closed in 1977, there were 700,000 square feet of factory and outbuildings. The 14-acre campus is located right next to the Cumberland River. 
And for years, it was inhabited by birds and rats and homeless people. And as you can see on the roof, there's plenty of sunshine and water for plants. However, this property is far from being abandoned. The new off complex is home to the Nashville Jazz Workshop and the Nashville Cultural Arts Project. The property is being developed into a sort of village. There's people that live there. Jazz concerts are performed there. The Tennessee Environmental Council has its annual Green Tie Patrons Party there. And the Cumberland River Compact meets right here to discuss water quality issues. There's even a recording studio on the campus. The new off complex, it's part of Nashville's history, and with those who care, it should be part of Nashville's future. <laughs>